Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of OS First Timer. This time, Diana is going to be trying... I'm not going to tell you. You look at the video uh, video title and you'll see exactly what it's called. Okay. Anyway, you ready? Yes. For this? So just turn it on. Now tell me what you're thinking. What do your thoughts going through your head? What now? Yep. Gosh, this reminds me of back in my school days when you had to program computers. Yeah, this looks really old. Okay. So what, what are you thinking? Is this it? This is it. What? This is the operating system? This is the operating system. Oh, wow. Very popular. Very popular. If you were living back in 1994. 94. <laughs> 94, yep. This is MS-DOS 6.22. Okay, well it reminds me of when I was at um, school in the 80s. So. Okay, remember that this did exist similar to this in the early 80s, 1981 with the first version. Okay. And this was developed, you know Windows 1.0 and Windows 3.11? This yes. was developed all the way up to the year 2000. Okay. So, Microsoft made this and they made Windows and this. They made it at the same time. Okay, well, okay, well, it's an operating system. Yep. So, How your you first task, what time is it? I have to tell you from this. Well, what time is it? What would you do? What time is it? Uh, well, as far as I'm concerned, I would type in run, so it actually runs a desktop for me. Okay, well, type in run. It's a bad command or file name. Okay, well, what time is it? What time is it? It's a bad command or file name. Well, this is not user friendly at all. This is what a lot of businesses use. It's very fast. So keep trying. Do you need a little bit of help? I need a lot of help. Well, what about you check out the help guide? Where is the help guide? Well, how would you access the help? <laughs> help. Congratulations, oh that's how you access help. Okay. Well, this would have to come with a book of commands. So it certainly know. does. Oh, he's going to go Well, actually, that. don't worry. That's for MS-DOS and Windows. The MS-DOS portion of the book is only 20 pages. Right. Windows, it has 300 pages for. Oh. Windows was a lot more complicated than DOS. I have to admit, I prefer an operating system that you don't need a book this thick to use it. And no, 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 no. It's only the first 20 pages. Well, it doesn't matter. Still, <laughs> you're using a guide to use. I want an operating system that is intuitive, whereby you can just navigate your way through, and it's logical. For people like, back then, it was intuitive. This is what people liked to use. For example, oh, okay. Well, can you go back to the main screen? Back to the main screen. Why are you putting your hand on a mouse? There's no mouse. Why isn't there a mouse? This operating system doesn't have a mouse. Oh. It's completely keyboard, completely text-based keyboard. I wouldn't know what to press. Well, arrow keys. Okay, this is the arrow keys. Now, this little thing here, just so you know, is called the cursor. Yeah, I know what a cursor is. No, but the cursor is usually a pointer. It's a flat line there, just in case you didn't know. Okay. Um, so what am I going back to the other screen? You want to go back to the other screen? Back. There's no back. These are just telling you what the commands are that you can use to t type in. Find. Well, maybe I want to find the... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, I want to find a clock to be able to tell you the time. So, find. Okay. Find. Searches for a specific string of text in a file or files. Okay. After searching the specific files, see, it tells you all about it. And it even tells you what a string is. Specifies a group of characters you want to search for. Okay, I want to search for clock. How okay, I... honestly, I tell you what, you won't be able to type in any commands or do anything from within help. Please exit the help op system. This is a help program. Exit. Control or delete? <laughs> no, don't do that. that... <laughs> You've upgraded to Windows 7 Professional. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, wasn't. I'm emulating this. You don't want to. Just. Well. That got you back. It certainly did. <laughs> okay. But that wasn't really... You're supposed to go up to the top. 
up there and click file and then quit. This is terrible. Yep. Now, what time is it? It's intuitive. You want to know what time, time. it is? Type I, in. Time. Is that what you think? Time. Oh, okay. It's intuitive. Okay. So the next thing is write, save and open a text document. I was dreading you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, document. Document. Oh, invalid. Enter new time. Yeah, it wants you to enter the time now because it thinks the time is wrong. Oh. It's a great operating system, isn't it? It's terrible. <laughs> Absolutely this, terrible. this was so popular back then. Oh. Okay. So, how do you? It's asked you. Current time. You typed in time, and it's told you what the time is, and it wants you to enter a new time. But what's so, the point of that? You ask the computer the time. It gives you the time. Why does it assume that you're going to enter in a new time? That's just silly. That's how it is. But why? Well, just. One thing I've learnt from this, yeah. never ask at the time. <laughs> Just get, look at the watch. Okay. Now, what about um, making this go away? Because it's constantly asking you to enter a new time. What can you do? Stop it. No. It doesn't take threats. <laughs> well... That it could be programmed to take threats, but... It, wasn't programmed to take threats. Okay, uh, well, I want to go to the start again. No. Start again. No. To get out of this, you have to enter a time. There's no other way to cancel it. Okay. Enter the time. Good. Oh, Good. God. See, that wasn't too hard, was it? Now. So, if you want to know the time, yeah. it'll tell you the time, but then to get out of it, you have to retype a different time. In. <laughs> well, you can type the same time in. But that's so silly. That's like <laughs> you're repeating it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now, try. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Yeah. How would you view all the files on your computer? Do you have any idea? File? No. Oh, the bad command. To view the files and folders on your computer, you type in the word DIR, DIR, which stands for directory. It shows you the files on your computer. Okay, so that's now, all I've got. Now, yeah, that's all you, you've got. Seven files. Now, the word DOS, and see how it says DIR? That means yes. that's a folder. Yes. That means it's a com file. But see, these are just files, but the word DIR means folder. To open a folder, what do you think you'll do to get in to see the contents of oh, that folder? I keep touching the mouse. Yeah, because the there's no mouse. I can't even move the little cursor up there. No. Nah. Maybe I type in. So if I want. So the to folder's name is DOS. No, don't touch those files. Those are, you wouldn't want to touch those. Let's just say that. Okay. So. If so I you want to, to enter that folder? Yeah. Maybe I do DOS. No. Nah. That's a bad command. Open. Open DOS? We'll try it. Now, to enter a folder, you type in der folder. I mean, <laughs> der dos. Der dos. Der, then the, the yeah. name of the folder. Yeah, okay. and that shows you all the files in it in alphabetical order. But you may notice that it couldn't show you everything because there's so many files in it that it couldn't show you every single file. Okay. So there is a way, I think you can type um, de and then it's forward slash w oh, and that shows you in a line without all the things. So if you actually want to enter a file permanently and always refer to that, you can type in cd then dos and that will keep it in that file. So you don't have to keep on saying what's in the DOS folder. See how it says CDOS? It means yes. you're in the DOS folder. And if you ever type in DIR, it'll show you all the files in the DOS folder. And if you type in DIR and then do a W, it'll show you all the files like that. So those are all the files in the computer. Okay. In the DOS folder. So, do you see a text document kind of program? I'd assume TXT is a text document. Well, that is a document. How do you think you would open that document?
that's just got information though. Maybe open the, na the name of the document. Well, how about you try that? Just note that you don't have to type .txt at the end. You can just say the name of it. So open Del Tree. It's bad. Everything's bad. Where's Del Tree? It's a very negative system. <laughs> bad. Yeah, and childcare, you're not allowed to use the word bad. Okay. Where's Del Tree? Del Tree there. Del Tree. That would be an execute. Um, but the thing is, you don't say open. You just say what it's called. So Del Tree. Yeah, but that's not an executable file. You wanted to open a text file, didn't you? Oh, okay. That would open the program. So if you want to open okay. the program. So DRV space, I'll try that. DRV. Drive space dot text, yeah. DRV space. And that, that shows you. That's actually a, not a text document. That's an actual said program. TXT. Did it? Yes, it did have TXT at the end. That's why I pressed it. But did it also have an executable file with it? What's. In, I don't understand that. What's that mean? <laughs> And I don't um, like that blue screen. That really yeah. gives me creeps. Okay. Creeps. To quit now, press F3. Um, duh slash W. What do you think about constantly typing in duh slash no, W? No, I don't like this. Now, what was the thing called? What was it? That one. Drive space dot execute. Oh, it was an execute It has to be one. a TXT. I it was a TXT. Oh, there, there's one. So you should have typed in drivespace.txt because otherwise it'll do exe, it'll prioritize, oh, execute. But you told me before you didn't have to type in the txt. Unless it's got a file with the same name with an executable. <laughs> oh, this is... I really... I want to stop this one. I don't like it. You, I really don't like this. You hate this operating system? I hate this operating system. Well, let, let me just show you how to do everything. If you wanted to make a new text document, you'd type in edit and then the name of the file. So what would you want to call your text document? Just document will do. Okay, well to type in edit document. Edit creates a new document if it doesn't already exist. If it does exist, it'll simply edit it. Okay, there's, there's the document. your document file. I am now, I am now typing. Lovely. Now, save it. Oh, that mouse thing's really <laughs> You keep on using the I'm mouse. I'm trying to get the cursor up to file. But, but there's no such thing as a cursor. Apart from that little line thing there. Well, it, look, I'm pressing the up arrow and it won't get up to the file. To access those menus, press control. Keyboard control. I did. Control. Actually, I meant to say alt. Alt. <laughs> okay. Now what? Save. Okay, it's saved it. It's saved? Yeah. Okay, so we can quit this now, quit the program. How do I quit it? Control or delete? No. What? Press alt. <laughs> You're just thinking because that's how you got to Windows 7 last time. <laughs> yeah, I'm pressing alt, nothing's happening. Well that's, yeah, and then down. Then exit. exit. So it's not too hard. Oh. Okay. Okay, and your document will be there. To open Amongst it. the all the rest of them. Yeah, you'd actually have to type. Unfortunately, you have to to update it. You'd have to type dir slash w again to update it, and then you'll see the document is yeah. there. It is. See, it's yep. the last file. And if you wanted to open it, you'd just type document. But let's not worry about doing that because no. then you have to get out of it again. I've so that's how you would open it. Um, what is forty-eight times thirty-two? Then you can turn the computer off. Well, give me a calculator and I'm happy to calculate. I'll do it on a bit of paper. If that's no. how I want to do it. I've really, okay. No, can you there stop using go. my Christmas card <laughs> to write things down on? It's not a scrap piece of paper, it's a Christmas card. I've really had enough of this one. Well, let me just show you. It doesn't have with a, com a command to do calculations. There's no such thing. You okay, can't. Okay, so you do 42, and I'm assuming. It, I said it times. doesn't. What do you mean? It doesn't come up with a command. It doesn't have a command. You literally have no way to do calculations. So you can't do calculations? You can't do calculations unless you get... There are two ways you can do a calculation. You get a calculator for MS-DOS, which you can. You can actually... But you'd have to get it off a floppy disk. <laughs> or, if you're super smart, you can open your favourite program. Your favourite favourite program that you last met in Windows 3.11? No.
No, just open it. Type in QBasic. And the life net. See how e see how easy it is. You just type in what you want, and boom, it appears. Your favorite thing. So this is. So this is the way you program. This is the way survival. you program. Okay. The survival guide is just how you use this program. Um, so press escape. Now, if you wanted to find out what it was, this is actually programming. This is how you would make program for Microsoft DOS. Mm -hmm. What you do is you'd simply type in the equation here, but you'd have to use the word print. If you said print hello, it would the application would literally just say hello. But if you say print four times five, it will do four times okay, five. Okay, because print is a command word. Yes. So print makes it do something. Amazing. There's actually a command that it's not a bad command that it likes. Can't There's actually quite that. a few commands. When you typed in help, all those things you saw were commands. That were good commands. Okay. So and then print, then the print 42 times 32. No, 48 times 32. Times 32. Oops. Now, to run it, how do you do that? It tells you at the bottom of the I'm screen. I'm just going to say run. No, it tells you at the bottom of the screen how to run it. Um, F5. You ran it lots of times. 48, 0. The thing is, you're not supposed to type in X. That's not the times button. Do you well, want to know which one was button? times? I'm just gonna. You've got. <laughs> I'm stumped. I actually have no idea. Cause you. Oh, my computer's making sound. I actually, and that's the computer speaker, so it actually literally made those kind of sounds. You've. Oh, the curse the... is gone. Ah, uh, I figured out. You've you've actually programmed an infinite loop which is inescapable. Oh, well, what does that mean? Is your computer broken now? Well, let's just say I'm glad it's not running MS-DOS. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> that would be very expensive. <laughs> okay. So basically, at the end of the program, you're supposed to put in, I don't know what the command is, but once you finish writing it, once you've said print such and such, you're supposed to say end, so it'll actually finish. But you can't do that now, it's too late. You're supposed to write. So that was MS-DOS. Yeah, I've really had enough now. And the qu last question is, the last task I told you, how do you turn off your computer? Oh, turn off. it off. Off? No, that's the wrong command. Everything's the wrong command with this system. Would well, you know something that you like? What? To turn off your computer using MS-DOS, you just make sure you've quit every single application and Boom! You turn it off. At the oh, wall. at the wall. Well, at the it's better to do it at the desktop. <laughs> but you just turn it off. There is no way you shut down the computer. You just have it on and you just turn it off at the wall. You do not need to press shut down we or type shut down or quit. Shut it off at the wall. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying you turn Did it computers off. Computers break down a lot back then. No, I'm just. I was joke. I was being sucker. I mean, you just turn it off at the tower. Yeah, but you you never can turn a computer off these days at the tower. Did computers break down back then because of this? Not really. That's just how you did it. Oh. Remembering they had this all the way up to the year 2000, they'd okay. still develop this. Well, I really don't like so this So, first Windows 8? Does this beat Windows 8? No, this does not. This is the <laughs> first one that does not beat Windows 8. What about Windows 1.0? Uh, no. This, this Windows really 1.0 was the first graphical interface, so you absolutely hate text-based operating systems. I absolutely hate this. Even though you grew up in the text-based operating system era? Yeah, I know, but that, that was different. That was back in my school days when they, we taught a language called uh, BASIC, and I could program in BASIC. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye.